Hello cookbook lovers, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today I thought it would be fun on a cold rainy winter day, here at least here in Seattle for me, to look through The Modern Tiffin by Priyanka Naik. You might remember her from Food Network. Uh, love this colorful cover, the tiffins, and I don't actually own a tiffin, and I think I'm probably going to once I look through this. This is on-the-go vegan dishes with a global fare. Now I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegetarian. But I like eating vegan food. I just might add some butter to the recipe. Starting off colorfully, the modern tiffin. On the go vegan dishes with the global fare. There's our author. This is Tiller Press. And Tiller Press, I don't know much about them. Let's check out the table of contents. Introduction, growing up on Staten Island, New York. Tiffin's 101. My food philosophy, traveling the world, tips and tricks, getting the basics right. Where to buy a tiffin? I was going to head to world market, but who knows? Favorite tools in my kitchen? All about spices, storage and prep advice, yes, and how do you clean them? Now we get to the first chapter, the Maha Shritan tiffin, not sure if I said that right. Two, the South Indian tiffin. Three, the Italian tiffin. Ooh. Four, the American Comfort Tiffin. Five, the Indo-Chinese Tiffin. Six, the South Asian Tiffin, and then Mexican, and then Spanish. Australian Tiffin, the Middle Eastern Tiffin. I love Middle Eastern food. Chapter 11, the drinks. I am so excited to get in here and look at this. So here's the introduction, which I'll read later off camera. It's kind of long, very colorful. Her food philosophy, etc tips and tricks. Now I can't show you the whole cookbook, that's not fair to the author, so I'm going to try and skip ahead, but I can't show you all the photos. And some info, etc. Chapter 1. I'm going to attempt this word again. The Maharashtrian, Maharashtrian Tiffin? Don't know what is that. Let me see what she says because I'm very confused about what that means. Okay. Inside this chapter, we will have modern shabudani, Indian home fries with peanuts, yum, cucumber carrot raita, yum, spicy chickpea bell puri, and coconut masala stuffed okra. So India is regional, she writes. Maybe you've heard that before, maybe you haven't, but take it from someone who's not among the majority of her ethnic group in America. India is very regionalized. A large majority of Indians in the Western world I, aka America, are from Punjab, Gujarat, and South India, which is ultimately reflected in the food available at Indian restaurants. So she says, let me break this down for you. Most restaurants that serve Indian food are often referring to North Indian Punjabi food, which has a heavy British influence, etc., 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 like garlic naan, chicken tikka masala, and dal makhani, for example. In some cases, it's referring to Gujarati food atali, which is a large plate with several vegetarian dishes, yum, and roti. And sometimes the South Indian food, like uh, Id idli, sambar, and chutney, etc. So she is saying Maharashtrian food is where she comes from. Her family is from the state of Maharashtra, specifically Mumbai and the surrounding Maharashtra, Karnataka bordering areas called Belgam and Ankali. The type of food her family and she grew, grew up, ate growing up at home in Staten Island was not available in restaurants. So she's starting off the book, opening her home to us with a few of her original renditions. Love it. Woo! So I won't be reading out of every chapter like that, but I thought we should get off to a good start learning about where she came from. So here's modern Shabudani. No idea what that means. I hope there's a pic. Sure, that must have been this. The ingredients are coconut oil, pearl, excuse me, pearl couscous, cumin seeds, curry leaves, green chilies, kosher salt, peanuts, cane sugar, coconut, lemon, and cilantro. So was that? Maybe that? I don't know. Okay. Indian home fries with peanuts. Cucumber carrot raita. No picture, but we know what raita looks like. I wouldn't photograph well anyway. Spicy chickpea bell puri, coconut masala stoked okra. That must have been all of that in this picture back here. So there's the okra. Okay. And the raita with the... Yeah, I get it. Okay. So...
so. And she's making sure to let us know how many people each recipe serves. In the example of Indian home fries with peanuts, it only serves two. Or one if I hog it all because I love, love fried so much. The next chapter is the South Indian Tiffin. And it's a spice rubbed cauliflower steaks with pistachio and cilantro gremolata, coconut yogurt rice, savory chickpea flour pancakes. Look at these gorgeous photos. Mm, okay, I have to skip a few because I can't ruin the entire book for you. Um, saffron shira with cardamom and buttery golden cashews. Yum. Now we're skipping ahead and I'm quite intrigued what she's going to do with the Italian Tiffin. Wow, okay. Masala chickpea bruschetta. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Although I don't know if I want bruschetta in a Tiffin because it would get gooey. Bucatini a la pumpkin with pink peppercorn and pistachio. <laughs> okay, cauliflower saffron pasta, Indian stuffed mushrooms, lemon risotto with tempered spices, yum. American comfort tiffin. For example, oh, pretty picture. I'm going to show it to you really quickly. Masala grilled cheese. I <laughs> love it. Creamy grits with roasted tomato jam. Cornbread, cornbread gulab jamun, or jamun, or whatever. Yum. Todka mac and cheese with Cajun breadcrumbs. Chili maple skillet cornbread. Yum. Indo-Chinese tiffin. I'm going to speed this up so we don't have a 20-minute video here, but this is fascinating. Tofu 65. And I see some fried rice. Indo-Chinese pulao in a tiffin. Chili garlic cashews in a tiffin. And I'm skipping to the next chapter, so I'm not overdoing it and showing you too much. Oh, veggie Manchurian noodles. The South Asian Tiffin, for example. Vietnamese style. Vermicelli noodle salad. Tofu banh mi, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next chapter. The Mexican Tiffin. I am someone who grew up very close to the Tijuana border, and I can eat Mexican food every single day. Mango gazpacho, chipotle black bean and corn tostadas, and green chutney quesadillas, and a poblana torta. Spanish tiffin. Please have an omelet or a little oh, baella. <laughs> Cilantro olive tapenade, pan con spicy tomate. Again, a little too gooey for a tiffin. I thought I was taking it to my workplace, but I work at home. Next chapter, the Australian Tiffin. Wow. That is an avocado and spicy peanut chutney toast. This is clever. I've never seen a cookbook with this kind of recipes. I love it. I see something with watermelon, a baby eggplants and peanut basil sauce, Bondi Blue tea cakes. What? I did not expect to see that, and that's very pretty. I don't know how you get it so blue. I'm not going to look because I don't want to ruin it for you. A Middle Eastern Tiffin. I'm looking forward to this chapter. Falafel pear lettuce wraps. And creamy parsley tahini dressing. Sweet and tangy Brussels sprouts. I had those for dinner last night. Spinach stuffed eggplant rolls with a mint walnut crunch. And she's demonstrating the crunch. And almond tahini cake with rose petals. Finally, the drinks. Now, you don't actually pour them into your Tiffin and drink them out of it, right? Just checking. Lemon turmeric cooler. I had to struggle because I wanted to say turmeric because a lot of YouTubers mispronounce that. Don't forget the first R, turmeric. Creamy mango coconut frosé. Yum. And now we're to the glossary. I am keeping this forever. Love it. Luckily for me, it's not a library book. I bought it. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through and review with me. I highly recommend this. And you can see more of our cookbook reviews at cookbookdivas.com, our website. We have a podcast where we talk about cookbooks. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, you can watch our videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.